I think I got this one right, guys. In previous streams, I was pressing a lot of buttons. Nah. Right. Zubat. <coughs> it's crazy how, like, catching him now is so much fun when before it was, ooh, it was annoying. Looks like I got everything going. Um, sun in Pisces, Moon in Gemini. Let's go ahead and put on an incense. Lots of you are probably already showing up, tuning in today, you already know what today is about. It is about the Pokemon Go Troll Canto edition. It's Pallet Town Hour. Fantastic soundtrack has been going off all during day long. <clears throat> it's actually a blast though. I might actually try to throw in some battles. We'll see where things take us. Things take us. Wow. I'm having a severe tongue twister moment today. It's only because I'm next to a lake that doesn't even make any remote sense. But normally, no, it, it doesn't make any remote sense whatsoever. And the crazy thing is, too, before I started this, I had over 100 Pokeballs, right? And now, and I had over 100 uh, Ultra Balls, actually, with whatever the heck else I had. Now I'm down to, like, 44. 48. Uh, Poke. Poke Ultra. Pokeballs out your hand, but it didn't even matter if you like bought a whole bunch from the store. <laughs> I'm laughing so hard. People would spend, people would get like a honey ultra balls and it'd be like a Lapras and it's keep breaking out. They'd be like, feel like a Gen 1 all over again. Right? Mm. 
let's see what's going on with my friends, my pokey friends. So I have to be honest with everybody. I don't even mind though, just sitting here catching like everything that shows up. Like this is this is everything people wanted people wanted to be like when it first when it first dropped on the phone. Everybody wanted to sit at the house and Charmander would just climb into your bedroom window. <laughs> like Charmander, catch me. Like, okay. Yeah, I know that's how the game wasn't, and the, and the show wasn't even like that neither, but people swore, like, even the main character, Ash, was thinking that like, that's how it was supposed to be, when it was, it was nothing like that whatsoever. I'm not really feeling inclined to get on camera and go smack a room, although I do want to bring my... Buddy out. I think I'm just going to have to do some in-game feeding. So I don't feel like <clears throat> breaking out the camera. I'm going to try to see like if I can start getting some excellent throws in a row. <laughs> but you're like, what is what? Bro, I wish they had let you like make puffins. Like that, that would be pretty fun. Especially seeing how how it gives your buddy like the whole the whole uh, snack fruit bar thing. I'm like, bruh. Br bruh. That's uh, it's my Charizard Brisinger. He's sensitive about his name. It's very, it's very fiery. I don't know if you guys ever read. You know what? You don't need the extra reference. <laughs> Pikachu was caught. I have so much Pikachu candy. It's it's probably not a good thing. It's probably like, wow, are you like I don't know. Like eating. <laughs> eating all like cause the like rumors that come with the Pokemon can like I'd like to think that the Pokemon candy is Like what's commonly believed to be, I don't, I don't want to say vital or essential for their diet, meaning that like, you know, there are some cross compatible Pokemon candies, which makes sense, I guess, over evolution scales. But like, I don't know. I'm assuming Squirtle eats like little fish or something, like like Magikarp. Like, don't act like. You know what I mean? Like, oh, it's it's Squirtle. It's like it. That makes no sense. <laughs> it just makes us it's like morbid for like no reason like it's morbid and then like you're not even really getting nothing from the more morbidity it should be some kind of rebirth from the death process not just like <sighs> y'all are doing too much Like, okay, once I get, like, a really good Pokemon, it kind of feels, I don't want to say dumb, 
It kind of feels like I'm not really doing much besides, I guess, catching that man's. Bro, my aim is getting on my nerves. Is that the mailman? It was just some some fellow uh, home dwellers, fellow quarantineites, making it back to the crib. Hmm. <clears throat> oh no, did I swing that chair too hard? Sorry. It's kind of like the most when you're like doing 20, 30 things at once. Is that like a crit, but at the end? Like, that didn't even make no sense. gun or something. Weed or oh, weed or oh, weed oh. Weed oh, 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 like that's, you'd be like, dude, this is ridiculous. Can you like put the man's up in here? I feel like that's kind of like the reason people didn't play the Game Boy game as much like they were expecting Squirtle to be all up next to the water. I'm gonna look if we found a star you. It's mostly time to go, right? Hey, it's vaping. I really gotta, I really gotta get better at that. Like, it'll give me the catch. But I need to, I wanna start hitting excellentes. Yeah, see, like, I get a lot from just the curveball itself.
I did not mean to like go through that so fast. Like what I should have did was <laughs> was ride around in the vehicle, so y'all could like, so it could be like, I don't know, could have like battled some of these challengers. Ain't no rule for Alex. He's a giant rock snake. I thought Brisinger's tail was like an orange cone in his tree for a second. I was like, what the heck? They'll never do construction on this game. <laughs> like, ready to be suspicious. Suspect. Sus. like 20 rare candies. I'm gonna have to look in this shop like I'm gonna see something different. Plenty of incense though. Who do we have here? Magnemite sounds fun. See, no, we ain't gonna see nothing here on now. It's gonna be some, some darn excellentes. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Start opening up gifts from friends. Let's look at some more Pokeballs. I feel like Rhyhorn will be just as common. There we go. First of many. Rhyhorn will be just as common in like the, so the southern territories of the United States as like. Milk Tank or Tauros, because it's just that type of Pokemon just be out there grazing. And they just come out. Come along, little doggies. They're Rhyhorn. Oh, so. Oh, gosh. That was weird. I can't even look at myself anymore. Dang, bro, and it always catches it. They love throwing me off my street, bro. She will do the whole thing, 99 type stuff. Coming out on the coming up on the end of these ultra balls, so I gotta be shrewd with with my shots here. Gotta gotta use some strategery. Right, let's see what I got. Oh, another great. It's always doing that. It's like, I don't know if it's because of the curve, like, um, streak. No clue. I'm behind on these levels. I think I'm so behind. It's not even funny. 
<laughs> Go flare. Oof, another great. Thought that'd be a bit smaller. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, bro. Y'all saw that? Y'all saw that bull corn. It's that uh, Tauros corn, bro. Oh, um, cool. Tauros corn. Was, um, about to give y'all the rollout move. This is, some, this is some milk tank corn on the cool. Gosh darn it. See, look, there, there you go right there. So I'm going to take y'all to him. See, this is some Toro's corn. Because, like, I threw that bad boy correctly. <sighs> Gosh. And it's all about, like, when I'm playing, too, like, I want to do, like, a... Like, I really want to, like... <clears throat> find like the the piece that people used to get for fire games or like I just want that to be like a, oh goodness like a type of energy but a lot of that comes from like you know I don't want to say it's not practice but like mindfulness like a mindfulness and like meditation with video games right cause it like not only like clears your mind in the sense of like the type of task and where it puts your mind at but also like it's it's consistent like self growth and self mastery. But obviously like people take it to whatever type of levels they want to take it to, you know, for profit. This at the third. But we gotta bring that back to video games, y'all. They're not supposed to be stressful. They're supposed to be problem solving devices, really. Flurry. Sorry, I got to put put him on the charger. Cause we're over here. Under 50, and I like him where that's going. I hope this isn't too loud. I wrote a little program on my phone every time it charges. Huh. I don't think it went off. It did go off. That's nice. I didn't think anybody would ever like witness that. So now y'all get to witness that on some level. How neat. Now you know what it sounds like when I bring my phone back from the dead. <laughs> Type stuff. <laughs> like when my phone dies and I gotta, I gotta run into the Pokemon Center like Nurse Joy to like. This is a phone, and sir, this is a Wendy's. Yep, that's a phone. Dog, Hound, Hound Dower, Growlith. <laughs> this is so freaking funny. I'm trying to get like on the excellence of the thing going. That's not what we're looking for, folks. It's not what. Uh, it's not what we're looking for. All right. Well, good job, Geo, Geo dude. It's another family Pokemon. Gosh darn it, bro. Did you see that? 
Like, who even does that in the first place? Bro. Bro. And then see, look. Caught. And you know why? Because Pokemon know they'd be like, bro, he, he gonna get these excellent uh, streaks real quick. So let's go ahead and break break that up. Go ahead and break, brickle. Brickle, brackle. Round. I'd love to hear like a National Geographic where they go out and some round one. Bro, it's the way after that Pokeball too, it was like... Like, why'd you throw it like that? That's how it looked, bro. Like, I didn't throw that like that. Yeah, you did. Threw that bad boy like Michael Scott from The Office. <laughs> I really like ghost Pokemans. Yeah, I want to see this shiny I got. It's like my favorite. This is my man's, bro. It's my man's. Even though it's a woman's, actually. Ashy. Ashy. Because it's like ghost ashes or the ghost of a body. But it's a girl, so it can't be like ashes or ash, you know what I mean like that's a boy name or a male a male gender name this thing, I imagine like ghosts are like gender food it's a ghost like it could do whatever it wants to do because I mean like it's made of gas so or maybe they may choose them too like how humans do right Cause it's like, <laughs> it's, it's, it's gas. Whoa, so like if you eat a plate of food and you fart, right, and it's like the ghost, and it's like the ghost of that plate of food, or whatever, like whatever turns into farts, right, I'm guessing it's food, um, right, obviously it's like intake, but let's just say like you produce a gas, right, okay, bet, like would that, wouldn't that be like a ghost Pokemon, right? Because it's like a gas. I don't know, like the most, I don't want to say harmless versions of gas, I can think of, but just like anytime I think of gas, like, even in a chemistry setting, I'm always like <laughs> hearing a fart in my head. Because <laughs> it's like, it's gas. Right? Diggly candy, it's actually not funny, like at all. <laughs> Are you still sending me requests, bro? Oh man, and it's a Mewtwo! It's a Mewtwo! I think it's hilarious like how people who don't even play Pokemon but they swear like as soon as they play like well I got Mewtwo it's like a... you don't even play like that it don't matter I chose Mewtwo first so like that's how they be playing Since I'm out of Pokeballs. Poke. And Dodo Meta. That person's real cool. They've always been like a good friend. Like a good Pokemon friend. 
sorry, I'm actually trying to see. 55, man, we had, in Texas, we had like a, a freeze. We saw that on the news. Dog. I, I don't think a lot of people from this type of region or live in this type of area have seen anything like that, at least not in recent times. So a lot of people got caught off guard. It's been chilly. Sending people like what feels like random or trivial stuff from like my area, and they probably think it like, oh my gosh, this is so uh, exotic and worldly. When it's like, and they be sending me the same stuff like, that's <laughs> over here. Like this is really just a park. Like it's really covering up a, a greater flora and f fauna landscape that we enjoy here. And they're trying to pass it off as. Motos motorcycle art, right? Which I'm quite sure somebody worked hard to get there. <clears throat> their art in there, right? It's always so crazy how we like stack expectations on top of each other. Right? Play any of the soundtrack? Something I think I might be able to do. Not sure yet. But what I do know is that my man's got died. He just be like, "Yeah, bro. Like, I really don't even ride him back to the store. We ride back in time to every time I went to the store." Like, that's ridiculous. And then when they're at the store, then they ride in time forward from the store's point of view, I guess. It's, t it's too much when you got Legendary to do regular stuff, bro. It's too much going on. Some Pokemon are just majestic, period. My low tick is definitely, definitely uh, majestic. Dude, I, I, I miss that, that, um, oh, I miss that, those little shorts they would have in between, like, the Pokemon movie, I think the first one, and then even though they would always have the Who's That Pokemon commercial breaks, I miss the ones where the Pokemon would just kind of like come up in, well they wouldn't like come up, but they would show up in the scene, and then they would like, um, I don't know, like, I wouldn't even say like chanting right because that's not the right that's not the right word they didn't necessarily because like magnemite did right they'd be like mag 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 magnemite and it was just like i don't know there was something about that because it felt like the pokemon were just like expressing themselves at the same time dude <laughs> i thought lepers had bat wings for a second i was like what does this game do like you know what i mean but um Goodness gracious, I'm getting all flustered. Oh my god. 
gosh, bro, this shot, like, and it jumped, bro, it jumped, it just straight up jumped, because it knew, it knew what was going on, and where I was, and what I needed, there it is, bro, I t I'm telling you, I can hit these excellentes, see, and that's how the game used to be back in the day, you hit an excellent, and they like, yeah, that ain't nothing, though. Yeah, you still ain't doing this LaPriest though. Oh my gosh, that was so off. It was horrible. Horrible. Alright, this is it. This is it. Ugh. Go ahead and bust out the ball. Like, go ahead and... Oof. I, I still jumped it to that great. So, like, if it was going to be excellent, it was going to jump all out of that. Like, haha. <laughs> so, this game, bro. I love it, but it just. Uh, if they could get you, they could get you. Man, I'm not getting no shinies. Like, my friends keep talking about how they keep getting a shiny. I'm like, bro, where y'all getting these shinies from? I'm not getting any of that. Like, at all. Sun's not going down yet, but it's it's about to. Some of these and some of the houses were like where I'm at, where I'm like kind of like adjusting back to like um temperature, like it's not getting colder, but you know. <laughs> You're getting shinies from my little Pokemon group chat, my friends, my, my group chat friends, bro. This is a shiny P. Wow. Yeah, that's ridiculous. I better stick to my lowly goal of, of uh, getting these, these excellent throws, bro. Because what the heck? What in the... Some Tauros corn, bro. So darn done. So darn done, bro. Darn it, I, I tell you what. Oh my gosh. I never was so frustrated. Wow, look at this game, bro. It's like they know. And then they try to throw y'all psychologically. This is my fault. I can't I can't put no blame on the game like that. I just get frustrated because it's like I know they're gonna let me catch it with the curb. I wish I had a lucky egg. Do I need more pennies? I feel like I do. I guess not. I parasite in there. It's weird. Right horn. Right horn. Look at him. Look at that. Oh gosh, I had it. And I slipped up. Ooh, gotta de stress, bro. Gotta de stress. Dang, they always do that to me. Every single time, like. I can't necessarily get mad and say, oh no, I'm, I, guess, I guess I'm catching, you know, the, I'm catching every single one with a curveball, because I'm still getting the curveball uh, chain. Let's try to get it ran, right? There it is. I'm still, still a little bit off of the timing. my usual but it's kind of like when i'm playing like halo and stuff like du double kills are the normal so i'm like not even like feeling great about any of these great throws <laughs> that's my other game out 
because uh, I'm like, uh, trying to trying to get this excellence, we're trying to perform during the stream, and it's not happening. Y'all seeing these meter, mediocre throws? See, that's another reason, like, I like this idea of, like, um, bringing down the stress levels during games, because, like, I guess I do, like, set, like, really high expectations for myself, like, and, like, I really want to try to change that mental narrative of playing video games, like, that does, you can still have excellence without, um, overtaxing the spirit, right? In fact, that's kind of mostly how you get there in the first place, is by relaxing. But we, we don't think about that like when we're judging ourselves, you know? I think Pokemon's always kind of encouraged that too, like with the main character or just like, you know, kind of identifying the story. You don't have to do anything specific to be valid as a Pokemon trainer. Like, it's not even um, necessary to be like a good strategist. There are plenty of Pokemon trainers that might use an obtuse strategy and still be a willy or prickly opponent. It's like it, there's nothing that requires them to have a specific personality or um, adherence to a specific code. What the heck? My group, this, this, uh, the group chat's going off, like, people are just catching everything. Meanwhile, I'm, I'm here. <laughs> Factoids. Necessarily like disappointed or nothing, I'm just like, frustrated because I'm like, boom, bam, and then they give it to me. It's like every single time, they're like they're gonna give me this every time I throw the curve, they're gonna give me the curve, but maybe I think I might try to scoop maybe some valuable ones from each region or whatever. I don't need this anymore. It was really for Ashy's sake. There's Kofari. Let's see if I get another Kofari. Tangella. Sort of slipped out of my hand. Oh, oh my goodness. I don't know what I'm doing. I think I might need to wipe down my screen. Because I keep saying slip, but I'm not like even acknowledging that straight up. Time to re rely upon friends. Started with Twitter, right? I think I sent. I think I sent a gift out to everyone. Last time I checked, at least they sent me something I didn't notice because. I get a lot of um, friend requests all the time, um, and I mean that happens to anybody who kind of puts their um, their uh, what do you call it out there? Their friend, their friend tag. So that's not like anything special or anything. I just I did it when I wasn't sure I was gonna get any friends, so now I'm kind of overloaded by it. 
probably really should have got that through. Let's try another group of friends. Which, like, the, the good thing about it is I, I really spent it on them. Um, and they're super rating right now. I, I, wanted to, I wanted to rate a little bit, but then I kind of, like... Oh, gosh. Sometimes, like, the, the reasons for the things I want to do feel... I don't want to say arbitrary. I just kind of felt, like, personally, I felt like with everything that's going on in people's lives now it seemed like some of the things some microtransactions didn't feel authentic it's kind of hard to like word that sometimes because I'm not like suggesting that like Everything has to be torn down for something to be effective. But sometimes, a recounts for the sake of I want to say recount sake kind of like are counterproductive like some functions are kind of counterproductive to the community and I really feel like especially within gaming like if people kind of see that they're gonna feel like I don't know I don't want to say betrayed but they feel like it's not as much fun because they're like you know you're paying for this thing and not a lot of other people can pay for it and so like it just feels not authentic. It doesn't mean that like it, it's not something I didn't want to do. I want to say people are having fun. And I think I'm going to try to stick to the fun parts as much as possible. Because I don't even think that people are going to have interesting things that aren't exactly. I think we often try to fool ourselves into thinking that we will finish tasks that don't interest us. And when we get older, we're often we're often taught by the by the wise to find ourselves within a task so that we will complete it. But I notice like in today's like society, right? We live in a society where people think that's not necessary. You don't necessarily need to make passion the forefront or focus of your life, but it, it needs a place, it needs a healthy place to exist. And I think that finding that, um, that health would greatly benefit Pretty much everyone, like people who are looking to simply just benefit from what's going on, and people who, um, you know, need to find benefit as an individual rather than a group, you know, or vice versa. That's a good way of saying that. I think I feel like I, I've answered that a little bit more accurately than I thought I even could in the first place. <laughs> so. I actually kind of enjoyed that a little bit or being able to like voice that with you guys kind of catch a little bit more man that's probably like the most time I've ever had in my life 
Like, <laughs> real talk. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, this group chat's going off. I wish I could show y'all. Tangella. Should have thought of trying to focus on one to get a shiny. Let's see if I could rustle a shiny out of that. Thank you, Bersing Group. Appreciate that. So they said, wow, I didn't expect that. <laughs> that's how that's, that's how heavy uh, uh, National X is. He's no, it's nothing but facts. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Man, somebody, someone's got a hundred percent Snorlax. They just caught. And they're comparing it to someone else's 90th percentile. It's like, sometimes the lines can be clear cut like that. Depending on the Pokemans. Really depends on the Pokemans. Oh my gosh, that's so frustrating. Frustrating. <laughs> All right, I know I can do this. There it is. There it is. Move 
Ooh, by Lazarus. Excellente. Excellente, wow. It is what it is. It's a little of the hell of a little bit down here. Seconds. Oh, it left. Sometimes it does that too when it's already gone. Oh, goodness. Try not to do too much coughing and breathing and sneezing and burping all in the microphone. Paris is like one of the most. He's one of the most. Because I mean, like, their books, like, it was one of the most interesting cries. Like, sounds like most, like the most. I want to say like. Captures the most elusive spirit of the Pokemon. It's the cry of Paris, the bug Pokemon. So beat up by that. Ridiculously beat up. enjoying how long this particular event is going. Yeah, I think Onyx is a little bit easier to put down the excellent throws on. Darn it. Almost.
too much. I went way too high on that one. Great. It's all good. That was uh, that was fun. I think I think I might take a break for a while and then get back on here later. Either way, this Canto celebration is pretty fun. It's exciting, man. It's very very exciting. Good job, everyone. <laughs> Good job. <laughs>